John Morrissey certainly gave me a run for my money over an unexpected game of chess. But he's also had to master the role of being a producer, which has certainly changed throughout his career. There was a shift in the balance of power uh, that really occurred in the late mid to late 70s and 1980s. Um, and what happened was producers began to be very secondary. And somewhere around 1992, um, the writers went on strike. Uh, and they, when they settled the strike, one of the demands that they were granted was that their credit, screenplay credit, would be the penultimate credit on the film. It used to be producer, written by, produced by, directed by. And suddenly it became produced by, written by, directed by. And although that's kind of meaningless, it was a symbolic shift uh, where the producer was relegated lower. And then it became obvious to people that producer credits were free. You could, rather than pay people to do something, you could give them a producer credit. So now you'll see in American films, at any rate, and really all over the world, 16, 17, 18 executive producers, co-producers, produced by this, just an endless list. And I produced a f number of films, but uh, by example, it's The Badge. This is a film that starred uh, Billy Bob Thornton and Patricia Arquette. Uh, and there were, I don't know how many producers, like 14 or 15, and most of them I literally never met. They never were on set, they never were involved. It was somebody's lawyer or somebody's uh, chief financial officer for the company. And the company that was financing wanted to give bonuses to their employees, and so they demanded executive producer credit. And although I could object, they were financing, right? And so they had the final word. With commissioners holding the balance of power, just how can the creative and editorial talent of producers be recognized? In 1994 or five, uh, three people, one of whom was a producer now passed away named Deborah Hill, created the, producing, the Producers Guild of America, uh, which initially for the first number of years, decade, maybe more than a decade, was an utterly meaningless utterly meaningless uh, organization. However, it has now become very important because the Academy will only recognize PGA members to be uh, eligible to receive the Academy Award. And they will only, they will only now uh, permit three producers maximum to receive an Academy Award for Best Picture. Um, and so the power has really shifted away from producers. By the way, it's your move. Coincidentally, you are here in Turkey at the moment, uh, acting in a consultancy role on over 12 other Turkish film productions. Uh, what's your perspective and views on the state of the Turkish uh, cinema industry? Well, I'm fascinated by the Turkish film industry. I, I, I love Turkey. But when I was first in Turkey, I asked several of the filmmakers about various jobs on the set. I'll give you an example. Script supervisor is a job in most film sets. Script supervisor is responsible for continuity because if we do five takes of this, then I need to be reminded when I did that so I can, or when I made a move, it's my move now. And I, <laughs> you know, so that's continuity and the script supervisor does that. The script supervisor also notes every change of dialogue and make notes about camera positions, etc. So that not only does the script supervisor aid the director on the set, but the script supervisor's notes are essential to the editor. I find that there's no script supervisors. So it's things like that, the organization of the crew, uh, not the talent, not the acting, not the writing, not the style of directing. It is the literal organization of the crew. And that's a bad mistake. Um, clear organization, first of all, saves money but more importantly, creates a better product. And so I'm puzzled. Uh, Turkey creates television series that play around the world very successfully, quite a few of them. If there's tremendous organization and clarity and uh, cooperation of, in the crews on television, I just wonder why that can't translate to the cinema uh, world here. John, you're after my king. Um, I concede, I accept defeat. <laughs> in admiration of your experience. Thank you so much for joining us on Showcase. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Thank you very much. Thank you.